Local researchers will soon celebrate finding the lost grave of a baseball great. Many don't realize his impact partly because he played in the Negro Leagues. Newt Allen was almost forgotten, but as Morella Porter shows us, one very dedicated group is making sure his legacy lives on. It's a story you will see only on Local 12. Newt Allen lived a long and accomplished life dedicated to baseball. He's one of the greatest second basemen in the Negro Leagues and one of the greatest second baseman in baseball period. He spent most of his two decade career playing for the Kansas City Monarchs in the 20s and 30s, winning championships, even managing the team and playing overseas on an all star team. After retiring, Allen evaluated Jackie Robinson. He spent his final years in Cincinnati. He died in 1988 at 87. When Newt Allen died, there was no obituary published in the newspaper. Researchers knew he was buried here at Union Baptist Cemetery, but his grave was unmarked. And with more than 20,000 people buried here, finding it took a little digging. For years, researchers hit dead ends searching for his grave. In 2020, Paul DeBono set out to find it, uncovering his death certificate, which listed Union Baptist Cemetery, the oldest African-American burial ground in Cincinnati. It's just an amazing place with a rich history. DeBono connected with Chris Hanlon, a cemetery historian who can tell you anything about many prominent people buried here. A lot of these people didn't get the respect that they deserved in life, so I think it's important that they get a measure of that respect in death. In 2021, Hanlon found this in the cemetery archives, showing exactly where Newt Allen was buried, next to his mother and sisters. While they had headstones, he didn't. In December, Allen got the tribute he deserved, 34 years after he was laid to rest. Louise Stevenson says for the cemetery, this is another gem. In our world today, this is the time uh, to celebrate. And what we're finding out is that uh, as Afro-Americans, we want people to know that our lives matter in life and it also matters in death. In Price Hill, Morella Porter, Local 12 News. Wow, what a great story. Paul DeBono says in the early 2000s, Newt Allen was actually considered for the Baseball Hall of Fame, and it's possible one day he could still be enshrined. Allen isn't the only Negro League player to be buried in an unmarked grave. An organization dedicated to giving them headstones helped install his at Union Baptist Cemetery. On Jackie Robinson Day, a dedication will be held at the cemetery to celebrate his life. You can visit our website, local12.com, to learn more.